here is a guide um, on how to behave in designer shops if you should find yourself in such a position. Um, now you mustn't do what I always do, which is walk in and go, oh my God, everything is fabulous. You can't do that at all. Even before you get into the shop, you have to be very careful. You must not open the door yourself. You have to kind of sweep at it and then there'll be a man standing there. There will always be a man standing there and he will jump to it and open it for you. But if you start kind of wrestling with the door, you're sunk already. So then you walk in and the advice I was given by somebody who's good at this sort of thing is to look evil and bored and kind of waft and you just kind of you waft around and you have to behave like everything you see is just a oh, real tat you know now it's better if you're with somebody because then you can do the kind of the to each other but you know if you're on your own you can still do it it's okay you know you do come across as perhaps like a little bit more insane if you're kind of going honestly the rubbish did you, can you believe it, but do it anyway because you will earn the respect of the people who work there um you know it's a power game and you've got to establish from the beginning who's boss if you seem needy and like you love their stuff th they're going to despise you but if you behave like that it's, just, it's, oh, it's nothing to you honestly and i mean you would never buy it i mean you could afford to buy the entire shop obviously but why would you bother you see and once you've done all that then they'll be nice to you and then it's a question of actually finding the money to buy the things they have. But that's a separate problem and I'm afraid I have no advice for you on that.